Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I have some great news, well, good news, for 3D artists who are using or wanting to use the Surface Pro X. Uh, the good news is that Scope GL uh, does work and works beautifully. The bad news is I have not been able to get ZBrush or uh, Blender to work, uh, although I do have a, another lead in um, the Blender environment that I, I need to follow up on. Um, but I wanted to show you quickly Sculpt GL. This is a web GL sculpting app. It's free and it does support a simultaneous pen and touch. So what simultaneous pen and touch means, for those of you who are unfamiliar with that term, it's one we use on this channel quite a bit. It means that you can use um, different things on the screen at the same time as the pen. So if I'm using Alt, I can uh, do negative, and positive uh, really quickly, as well as using those buttons at the same time, the same way you would with a keyboard. Now, this is supported in Sculpt G GL. It's not supported in ZBrush and it's not supported in Blender, which means you can't use modifiers at the same time as the pen without using a keyboard. For tablet users, that's a really big deal. For, for people who are using a keyboard, uh, that's not a big deal. It doesn't matter because you have the keyboard and it's doing the same thing. Um, this is the Tablet Pro Artist Pad, and that's what I'm using in this demo here. So there's a number of different things that um, SculptGL does that are very similar to ZBrush. A lot of the navigation is the same. So Alt and right click is going to drag um, Zoom with right click and um, Control, and Shift does something. I'm not really sure, uh, but Shift does. It does smooth when you're adding and subtracting material. Um, control does mask. And these are all extremely, extremely easy to do. Uh, undo and redo are the same as ZBrush. Maybe not. I have to adjust that. Uh, there's a bunch of different tools over here. And you can see here, like flatten and pinch. Uh, I think I did something wrong here. Let's see, pinch, crease. Okay, crease is working, but looks very uh, dapply. Um, let's try here. By the way, my three-year-old is sitting next to me and I'm trying to get yeah. her to yeah. be, yes, I'm trying to get her to be quiet. And oh my goodness, that is difficult. Right? Mm hmm Yeah, because she likes to talk and make noise. Yeah. Yeah, she does. All right. Yeah. So uh, anyway, this is just the basics on this. You guys can play around with it. I don't know if there is um, hotkeys that map to these over here or not. There's, there's a couple. A couple basic ones that are shown here, like Shift for Smooth, Control for Masking, Transform for E. Um, you can add more shapes in here, like a cube and a cylinder, a torus. I don't really know what's all capable of, but as far as I know, this is the only, the only uh, sculpting, digital sculpting tool that works on the Surface Pro X. So I wanted to share this with you guys as quick as possible. Oh my goodness, I completely missed this, and this is really cool. Uh, you can actually use touch to uh, zoom in and zoom out and actually paint on the surface, which you can't do in ZBrush. So I didn't, it didn't even occur to me that you could do this. I'm looking at trying to map uh, these things over here to in and out and everything, and, and you can just pinch in and pan this way. Um, that's fantastic. Okay, so just needed to share that really quickly. What a fun, quick way to sculpt on the Surface Pro X or even on the Surface Pro 7. Please comment. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, this is a great channel for creatives, digital artists, note takers, anyone who's using a Windows 10 touchscreen and wants to make that process better. All right, have a wonderful day. And until next time, stay creative.